was important to bring the Nelson Mandela exhibit here to Jackson State University because Nelson Mandela was the president of South Africa. Not only was he the president of South Africa, but he also was an artist. He had gone back to Robben Island where he was imprisoned and painted various parts of Robben Island from the jail cell to the guard tower. It was important to bring that exhibition here. It also helps students on a multidisciplinary level to learn about Nelson Mandela to where we had history students involved, political science students involved, mass communication students involved, visual arts students involved in the exhibition, history students providing the history of Nelson Mandela, mass communication students creating videos to our visual arts students learning about him in the classroom and creating paintings. My piece says education is the most powerful weapon to use to change the world. And that was a very strong quote that Nelson Mandela's believed. And then once I read it, I was like, I gotta put this somewhere. So I put in one of my art pieces where you can see it's a tree, and sitting next to the tree is a little girl, of course, reading a book. I personally do believe that education is very powerful. Nelson Mandela's was very educated, even though he was a rebel at the same time. And the tree represents people with old souls back in the day, and of course, the little girl represents youth, which means that no matter what age you are, education is very important and you can actually use it as a weapon to change the world for the better. I'm a student in the educational leadership program here at Jackson State. My great-grandmother told me a lot of the stories. You know, she passed in 97. She also taught me how to quilt. So I combine stories of what she taught me along with what I've learned in a different way using this folk style that I actually learned from her. And Nelson Mandela, I really admire to be locked up for nearly 30 years and get out and talk peace. I don't know many people who could do that. That's a testament to how big his heart was and his humanity toward people. So I admired him for his humanity. I got involved with this Mandela exhibition by working on a workers' right event. The piece that I did for the exhibit was done actually as a student here at Jackson State University in 2001. It was just something that I wanted to do, but it, it was fitting for a Mandela story. I don't know, it incorporates what we're going through in America also. The night of the exhibition, JSU community and beyond was literally out the door. People had to wait in line to get in. I think that is definitely proof that we are making a positive impact on the community, not just students, faculty, and staff, but people outside of the community. It was important to videotape Nelson Mandela signing his artwork and providing a speech about his artwork because this was an example to students so that they understand the importance of documentation. If you do not document, how do you have authenticity or even a reference that this even occurred? Our purpose in bringing this exhibition here at Gallery One was to ensure that as many students as possible would have an opportunity to see this exhibition. We would like to say thank you to Belgravia Art Gallery in London, to Laura and her daughter Anne for helping to make this all possible because without them, this wouldn't have been a reality. 